Tizanidine can be used to relieve the muscle spasms and other conditions that are associated with increased muscle tone. It is one of the centrally acting medications, which is an alpha-2 adrenergic receptor agonist. It has a short duration of action. Therefore, it is recommended for the people who need relief from the spasticity. You should know a few important things before its use. It is available as tablets and capsules at equal strengths. However, they are not equivalent. You can take tizanidine with or without food. However, you should choose only one option throughout the treatment. Sometimes you may need to avoid a few antibiotics like ciprofloxacin when you are taking tizanidine. So it is very essential to check what other types of medications you are going to take when you are using the tizanidine. In this video, let's discuss essential things that are required to know before the use of tizanidine, like how this medication works, how to take this medication, and what the important precautions and side effects are. Clinical uses. Tizanidine is used in the treatment of spasticity. Many conditions can increase muscle spasms, like multiple sclerosis, which is an autoimmune disease that affects few nerves, leading to their improper function. It results in muscle weakness, numbness, loss of muscle coordination, and even a few problems with vision, speech, and bladder control. In people with any spinal cord injury or stroke, again muscle spasms can be observed. These conditions are called muscle spasticity. In such conditions, tizanidine can be used for the short term to relieve the symptoms and improve the daytime activity. How it works? Tizanidine affects a few of the neurons that supply your skeletal muscle. These neurons are called motor neurons. These motor neurons are combined and connected with many other neurons, forming a junction, and this is called a polysynaptic pathway. At this junction, the release of neurotransmitters like glutamate is very important. It is an excitatory chemical mediator that stimulates motor neurons when released. This increases muscle contraction. However, the release of glutamate is controlled by presynaptic alpha-2 adrenergic receptors. These are auto-inhibitory in nature. That means they inhibit the release of glutamate. Tizanidine can bind to this target, and it can activate these receptors. This results in the increased inhibition on the release of glutamate. When glutamate release is reduced, it results in the decreased activation and contraction of skeletal muscle. This relieves the muscle spasm and reduces the muscle tone. Particularly, tizanidine can reduce the activity of spinal motor neurons. How to take this medication? You can get tizanidine as tablets or capsules. They are available at different strengths, starting from 2 mg to 6 mg. In the treatment of multiple spasticity, this medication can be used. Initially, at a 2 mg dose given for 6 to 8 hours. However, in a day, the number of maximum doses is 3. The dose can be slowly increased with increments of 2 to 4 mg per day. Never take above 36 mg per day, and it is the maximum dose accepted. When you take a single dose, it should not be above the limit. Tizanidine's single dose should not be greater than 16 mg. In people with renal impairment with creatinine clearance less than 25 milliliters per minute, clearance of this medication is reduced. Food has complex effects on how tizanidine enters and is distributed in your body. The absorption of medication and its fate in the body depend on the type of formulation. The tablets and capsules are equivalent under fasting conditions. But when they are taken along with food or just after taking the meals, they differ in their pharmacokinetics. Therefore, when you take them with food, tablets and capsules are not equivalent in their effects. Peak levels of this medication can be observed one to two hours after the administration. You should use the same formulation every time you are taking the tizanidine because all the formulations may not release the medication in a similar way and the fate of this medication in the body may be different. Food has variable effects on this medication. You can take these tablets or capsules either with or without food. But always consider the same thing when you're taking these tablets or capsules throughout the treatment. If you're going to take it with food, every day try to stick to the same and take tizanin with food to produce the same release pattern in your body. Effect on blood pressure. Tizanidine can cause a drop in your blood pressure. A significant hypotension can be observed when you are using this medication at higher doses. You may feel a decrease in the blood pressure when you change your position, particularly from the supine position to the upright position. The orthostatic effects of tizanidine can be more observed at higher doses. It may also result in the syncope resulting in falling. 
This drop in blood pressure can be increased by using other antihypertensive medications. Never combine other alpha-adrenergic agonists like clonidine with tizanidine. You can observe a drop in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure when you combine tizanidine with other drugs that reduce blood pressure. A significant hypotension can be observed when you combine it with floxamine or ciprofloxacin. This interaction can be observed even at a single dose of 4 mg of tizanidine. Therefore, potent CYP1A2 inhibitors like fluoxetine and ciprofloxacin are contraindicated with the use of tizanidine. Closely monitor your blood pressure, and any symptoms like a drop in your blood pressure may be seriously considered. Hepatotoxicity On long-term use, tizanidine can produce damage to your liver. It is more pronounced if you have any pre-existing hepatic impairment. Therefore, before starting therapy, check the healthy status of your liver. Tizanidine can elevate your liver enzymes. Therefore, before starting the therapy, the baseline of liver enzymes should be monitored. When you are at a higher dose again, the liver enzymes should be assessed at least after one month of the treatment. This avoids any possible risk of developing hepatotoxicity with higher doses of tizanidine. Sedative effects. Tizanidine can produce sedation, which may impair daytime activities. This sedation can be observed within the first week of the treatment. However, it may be stable after prolonged use. The sedative effects produced by tizanidine can be further increased by the use of CNS depressants. Benzodiazepines are used for the treatment of anxiety, and they can produce sedation and CNS depression. Therefore, if you are already using benzodiazepines, they can produce significant sedation when you start tizanidine. You should be cautious if you're using other medication like opioids. Opioids are given to you to control pain, and they act on your brain to reduce pain signaling. However, they also produce central depression. Therefore, when they are combined with tizanidine, they can also produce profound sedation. Many other medications like tricyclic antidepressants and antipsychotics can also enhance sedation. Hallucinations. This medication can produce visual hallucinations. You may perceive something that is not real. However, these hallucinations may slowly disappear after discontinuation of tizanidine. In a few people, they may exist up to two weeks after discontinuation. Effect on metabolism Tizanidine is extensively metabolized within the liver. Its metabolism is mainly mediated by one of the cytochrome P450 enzymes, CYP1A2. Therefore, other medications that are affecting the CYP1A2 activity may increase the levels of tizanidine. When this enzyme is inhibited, the metabolism of tizanidine is reduced. It results in increased levels of this medication in your body. This may result in severe hypotensive effects. Strong CYP1A2 inhibitors like fluvoxamine and ciprofloxacin should not be used with tizanidine. Other fluoroquinolones are acting like moderate CYP1A2 inhibitors. They should be carefully used with this medication. Few of the antiarrhythmic agents, like amiodaron and propafenone, can also increase the levels of tizanidine. If you're using cimetidine, oral contraceptives, or antivirals like acyclovir, you may notice elevated levels of tizanidine due to inhibition of its metabolism. Whenever possible, these medications should be avoided in order to eliminate these drug interactions. Hypersensitive reactions. In a few people, it can produce hypersensitive reactions resulting in angioedema. It results in swelling of the throat and tongue. It can also produce the difficulty breathing and urticaria. However, these hypersensitive reactions are not observed in all people. Therefore, if you observe any hypersensitive reactions, this medication should be discontinued. Since tizanidine is eliminated by kidneys, in people with any renal insufficiency, the clearance of this medication is reduced particularly in the severe renal impairment where creatinine clearance is less than 25 milliliters per minute. The clearance of this medication is reduced by half. This significantly increases its levels in the body, which leads to few adverse reactions like dry mouth, somnolence, asthenia, and dizziness. These symptoms indicate the overdose of this medication. Therefore, in people with any renal impairment, this medication should be used carefully. If it is required, the dose can be reduced. Rebound hypertension. Never stop this medication suddenly because it can produce withdrawal reactions. Since this medication reduces your blood pressure on sudden stopping of use of tizanidine, it may elevate your blood pressure. 
This condition is called rebound hypertension. It can also increase the activity of the heart, resulting in the increased rate of contraction that is called tachycardia. It also increases another condition called hypertonia, where the tone of blood vessels is going to be increased, which results in the increased blood pressure. To avoid withdrawal effects, the dose of this medication should be reduced gradually for longer periods of time, such as nine weeks or more. This is particularly important when you're at higher doses. The dose should be reduced by two to four milligrams per day. Contraindications. Tizanidine is contraindicated with other medications that increase its levels by inhibiting its metabolism. Potent CYP1A2 inhibitors like fluvoxamine and ciprofloxacin are contraindicated with tizanidine. Side effects. The common side effects are dry mouth, sleepiness, lack of energy, dizziness, and constipation. It can also produce some urinary tract infection. You may have increased urinary frequency. Nervousness and a few speech problems can be observed. You can also have flu-like syndrome leading to rhinitis and pharyngitis. The liver enzymes may be elevated. In a few people, tizanidine can produce a condition called lazy eye, where vision is at one eye is blurred. These are the essential facts that you should know before taking tizanidine. Thanks for watching this video. And if you find any interesting facts on this medication, please share them in the comment box below. Please do subscribe and hit the like button. I will come with another interesting video in the next week. Until then, have a nice time, take care, and goodbye.